Hey guys, Thunderset here, and we are finally getting to Orcust, or Cursed, however you want to say them. It's like or Orchestra, so I say Orcust. Never got to them, because when they came out, I was doing something called Meme May, something I do in the month of May. But here we are, perfect time to use them for the dual level max of the KC Cup. Now, it's a very flexible archetype. People are mixing it with literally everything. They're putting it in everything. So I'm trying to show a bunch of the different techs. Uh, people like Tetherwolf, people like Sky Blaster, they're easy techs for easy links. Recyclers, obviously huge, huge, super easy to get to your harp horror. <coughs> Excuse me, we also have DD Crow for the mirror match. People love mind control because it really helps with many hand combinations you don't need the optimal starters and everything else is just traps and support some people choose to go with the ibli lock and uh you need the nightmare monster that is limited to one generally with that so they don't go with the babble like babble it's just uh it's not like game changing to use them as quick effects but i like what it does for nightmare it makes it a little more of a battle trap and yeah, there's a few other techs we can use here. There's, uh, what is that monster called? Something effect where it'll take control of, uh, some monster. It'll take control of, here it is. Oh no, that's not him. Take control of a dragon or machine. Let me see. But yeah, that's also another popular tech. You would just discard it from your hand, take control of the machine that most McC or O'Curse are bringing out, and uh, you're good to go. Here it is. Electric Virus. You can discard this card to the graveyard, target a machine or dragon. Your opponent controls, take control. Also a very good tech. Didn't work it in here is the Thunder Monster too. But uh, yeah, pretty much the only combo you just summon. Where is she? this galalti and that turns into dingirus and you just take off from there it's a super sticky monster it bounces when you come back pops a monster you guys probably know this archetype it's a very stale meta right now not looking forward to it i chose this deck to go dual level max because i'm not gonna play it in the second stage so i hope you guys enjoy it now finally got to it it's been almost a month old now stale stale meta people just bounce quick versus this deck. I myself don't even like fighting it. That's why you tech for the mirror match with stuff like sealed tombs and everything like that. It's what's popular, but I hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, here we are. What we're gonna get really used to and what we're gonna tech for is the mirror match. So tons of mirror matches. World Legacy Wand, Ice Dragon Prison, all sorts of good stuff. We're going to return. Boom boom, set on our back row. He's got a Link Slayer in his deck. He throws away a harp and a trap. We're going to Ice Dragon Prison and steal his harp before he kills both of our trap cards. So we have his harp. He's pretty crippled. He has to destroy the harp because we can use the harp. Now we're going to use Returned once again on the Nightmare. We get a Recycler and a DD Crow. We're even going to use the DD Crow chain to our Recycler as just a show of power. There goes the Harp. We bring out a Harp. Annoying mirror matches, but I love DD Crow, guys. I really do like DD Crow in here. As long as we destroy this monster, it's going to be really hard for him to make uh, the Mont Galatee to mill back that Harp and still use the Harp in the same kind of turn. Here's the Babble. Dingy Saru, he knows the monster. We're gonna get over Slayer. He's thrown. We bump him up to 3k, milling the harp once a... Am I just gonna hit lethal? I think we're just gonna hit lethal. Well, let's not even mess around. We're gonna do it all sorts of different ways. No follow-up, boy scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are going first on a five win streak. I'm not sure if this is the max, max win, but it could be. We have our Tether Wolf. We have a Nightmare with a Return. We go boom, boom. There's your Cycler. Throw that there. 
bring out symbols. That's Galati. Galati returns heart. Searches Babel. The whole shebang. So here we go. An automaton. With a giant scythe. Pretty cool card art, honestly. Here we go. Babel is live. Boom. Ding Dingisaru. Not as cool art. I mean, art's fine, but not as close cool to Automaton. He is, in fact, Speedroids. We have Book of Moon. We have Ding Dingisaru. So here he goes to Terror Top. Searching Yo Yo. So that's pretty much a follow up play. Then he goes uh, Borg. Brings out dice. We're going to flip dice down after he makes that monster six. Very useful for us. Now I can't really do anything with that monster, no matter what he brings out. He does bring out another tuner. Probably could have special summoned that tuner from his hand on its own effect, but he'll banish to use that monster. So we bring out Tether Wolf. We use all three of my monsters to play a unicorn. We're gonna bounce the dice back to his hand or to the deck. Then symbols. Gonna hop out our Dingisaru. That's going to return a mon or send a monster to the graveyard. Nightmare's gonna buff him up by sending World Wand. World Wand's going to special summon a banished monster, and we have plenty of lethal over our boy. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are going first versus a Yuto. 30 cards over there. We got an Orcus return. Perfect card with Harp to have in the graveyard. We can normal summon Tether Wolf. Summon a token. Here we go Harp. That's our symbol skeleton. We go with Galati. The automaton. Then that lets us return our banished card and search Babel. Then we can play Babel. Now our accursed monsters are quick effects in the graveyard. Very cool. We got Dingus, or sorry, Dingisur, Dingersu, Dingersu, Dingersu. We're facing Buster Blader, okay? It's going well. Tries to go into a Kamikaze, but all we have to do is detach one and nothing's destroyed except him. Then we can symbols in the end phase. That brings out the Automaton. We send the symbols back. That searches another return. Thinning the deck very nicely. Now we're going to use the return once again. Throw away the world one. I think I took this out of my deck for something else. Which we could have just made. He was just a bounce to get to Liger. So any three to get to Liger and we're there. And go with this too. Look at that. Liger and Security Dragon together. Liger's going to touch a link. To get over 4k. He brings out a Buster Blader. We're gonna have to get him with just the Security Dragon, no problem. Let's see what else they got. Pendulum Call, so pretty good card to pull. It's gonna give you two of whatever you need. But it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be really hard with a three card combo for him to overcome this field. He goes Dragon Pit, Dragon Pulse. The one monster is Odd Eyes, but we're going to hit it with the Book of Moon. Then you know Security Dragon will be able to use this turn. Oh, it's not even done. So he gets to Fusion from the Graveyard for the Destroyer, but he will be the one who gets evacuated because we can handle an Odd Eyes with the Security Dragon. Security Dragon bounces him back. Liger buffs up and he scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are going first in what should be a mirror match, so let's see how far this guy goes. Orchestrated Return, there's our Cycler, DD Crow. We throw Harp, pretty basic turn. Harp into Symbols. Galatee, the Automaton. I might disconnect, but I'm pretty sure I had full control this duel. I can't imagine any scenario where he took that over. So let's uh, take a look. Let's 
taking a bit long. Here's Dingy Saru, and we have a Babel. And we have a Book of Moon. He's going to Mystical Space Typhoon Babel. Not a huge deal. Recycler of his own, he throws away Harp. Guess what tech we have? DD Crow. Goodbye, Harp. He has to pass his turn. We get our Harp. We bring out Harp to make Security Dragon. Now we go Symbols to Special Summon Dingy Saru. Or no, sorry, we go Harp to Special Summon Symbols. Now Symbols to Summon Dingy Saru. That's how you say that. He's going to compulse our Dingy Giru. Our decks are very similar as you can see. We are going to bounce his monster. We will curse return. We get two nightmares. We throw one away for Babel. Babel is back. Now we hit him for Security Dragon. He's down to three cards. Another Recycler. Doesn't have a second heart. Has to go with Symbol. Switcheroos. That's a monster. We're gonna go symbols of our own. We get Galati back out. She's going to set that. Search another return. We have fuel for the return, so we're really just piling on this guy and we've disrupted all his plays. We're still going. We're milling another symbol. That means symbol's gonna be live here. We get another recycler. We return the harp. Accidentally dropped. There's really no way he was going to uh, get that wing. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are going first versus Averis on bits of a win streak. Of course, you need big win streaks for the level max. Uh, where he's starting with a Scrap Recycler. Orchestra Return, we throw away Nightmare. Then we go with Recycler to throw away Harp. Harp brings out Symbols. Symbols make Galaxy. Galaxy returns harp, sets Babel, and then turns into Dingirsu, Dingirsu, something like that. And then we pass our turn with a Book of Moon. So pretty bread and butter play there. He is in fact Rockets. He goes with the Boral launch to get a Boot Sector launch. Going to special summon one monster. Gives him his booster dragon. Now he plays Regenerator. We're going to book a moon so he loses that uh, equip. Now he's got a dragon mirror of his own though. Does play the monster or use the monster we book a moon. But he's going to use this boy way wrong. He's going with Furious Dragon. We're going with Nightmare on onto our boy. Ignore this chain. I messed up. I wanted to use Nightmare accidentally with symbols first, but we're still able to use Nightmare. Anyway, here's Tether Wolf. He's gonna try to destroy Tether Wolf, which I don't know why you would do that. We stop him from doing it with Dingy Siru. Then he's gonna Needle Bug Ceiling. That's gonna destroy everyone but Sil Tether Wolf. I keep saying Silver Wolf. Tether Wolf. Silver Wolf's from Star Rail. Get him for 1700 and our boy goes ahead and scoops from us. So, uh, great stuff, guys. Um, you probably knew this deck. This deck's a month old now. Super strong, mixed with everything, super popular, easy to run, successful. You're gonna see it everywhere. It's easy to tech against, though. Like I said, uh, that virus card, that virus monster, that's a thunder monster. All the techs I'm using here. Don't sleep on DD Crow. People don't like DD Crow because you have a way to get the monster from the Banish Pool. Still worth the DD Crow. Still worth everything. Uh, hope you guys have luck on your grind. Don't get too bogged down. And thanks for watching, guys.